guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you have not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. So, for today's video, we're going to be talking about something that has plagued my life ever since I was 11 years old, and that is acne. So, I opened up a little bit about it on my Instagram and our podcast, but I actually can't remember if I talked about it too much here on YouTube, but I decided to go off of birth control last year and I've been on it forever, I think literally since I was 15 or 16, for acne purposes. And I was expecting maybe my acne to come back in some way, shape, or form. But wow, it came back way different than I had ever anticipated, expected, all of that. So as you guys can hopefully see, skin is in a much better place now. So it took months and months and months of figuring things out, but I wanted to share in today's video how I finally cleared my acne. So if you are somebody who is considering going off of the pill, or maybe you struggle with acne yourself, this video may be for you. So before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me. Or if you are in a similar situation right now and you are struggling, there's a product that you're obsessed with, leave it down in the comment section. I will do my best to leave links for what I can down in the description box. I also have my social channels down there, Instagram, TikTok, Poshmark Podcast, presets, all that fun stuff, alpha details, I will also link for you guys. And that's it, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I'm definitely gonna chapter this video out for you guys because I'm just gonna be talking about many, many different things my experience going off the pill, a brief history of my acne and whatnot. So I'll definitely be sure to chapter this video out in case you're just like, I wanna get straight to the products. I get it, trust me. Let's start with a brief history. I briefly mentioned that I started struggling with acne when I was like 11 years old. It was hormonal at that point. So mainly like little pimples in my T-zone area. And then by the time I was 15, whoo, that's when the cystic acne started. Um, it was much different, obviously, than dealing with just hormonal T-zone, little pimples and whiteheads and blackheads here and there. Cystic acne is so painful and it takes weeks, if not months, for the pimples to heal. It is such a painful process, but that is my first time I went and saw a dermatologist. My dermatologist put me on birth control pills at that point. I also did a couple... I think a couple different rounds of antibiotics to try and treat it. Also did so many different things, uh, topicals, chemical peels, microdermabrasion, like so, so many different things. And basically like there were times where my acne was like behaving itself and doing a little bit better. And then other moments where it was just like out of whack and really frustrating. So finally, when I was, I think I was 24, I decided to do Accutane and that was something that really scared me. There were so many <laughs> different stories that I had heard over the years just about terrible experiences with Accutane. And obviously every single person is different and you should definitely chat with your doctor about it. If you're considering it, definitely talk through the side effects because there are quite a few. But overall, my experience with Accutane was not bad and I was so grateful that my cystic acne was finally cured. It was a terrible first five months because my skin was so dry and my skin was like purging at that time also. So even more cystic acne was coming up, but I noticed that they started healing a lot faster than normal. And then by like the fifth month, my skin was looking so much better. And I do not regret going on Accutane because now I'm not dealing with cystic acne anymore. So from then on out, I was still on the pill because I am married, wasn't ready to have family at that time. And my skin was like doing pretty okay. Um, I'd get pimples here and there. Actually, it was like every week still that I was getting pimples, but nothing compared to having cystic acne. Um, so I was like, okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine. So cut to January, 2022, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to go off the pill and I don't wanna like 
spend too much time on this because the road to starting a family and fertility and all that is just a very, very sensitive topic. Brian and I at this point aren't ready to start trying for kids, but we're thinking if we do want to start a family in the next few years, maybe it'd be better to just get myself off the pill so I have a good amount of time being off of it just because I've been on it for close to 20 years, like between 15 and 20, it's, it's been a while. So I made the decision to go off the pill in Jan end of January. I didn't consult my doctor because I went off the pill one other time in college when my acne was actually in a pretty good place. And I was just like, I don't wanna be on this anymore. Um, and I had no issues when I went off of it that time. I do remember months later, it was probably like, six months to a year later, my acne did start acting up again. So at that point, I went to a dermatologist and got back on the pill. But otherwise, I had no issues. <laughs> Last year was really rough for me, and it is solely because I went off those stupid birth control pills. And I don't wanna scare anyone about going on it or off of it. Regardless, I think you should do your own research and talk to your doctor about it. But I do wish that I had done my research beforehand because I didn't realize it until months later after actually doing some Googling. But when you go off the pill, there are certain vitamins that you are going to be deficient in. And all that to say, I felt like trash for months, like horrible. Trigger warning, mental health situation, but I definitely struggled with depression again. And I've been depressed two other times in my life once in high school and the other time I started kind of falling back into it during the pandemic. So I know what it feels like and every other time that I've been depressed, it's been situational. I was in a really good place last year and so I could not understand why I was so apathetic, why I was so sad. I just felt in such a funk and Brian even was like, what is going on here? Because this is not my normal wife. So after doing some research, I found out that there's something called post birth control syndrome. I'm not a doctor, so I don't wanna like go into everything, but basically please talk to your doctor before you go off the pill, um, just to make sure you got all your ducks in a row, all the vitamins you need to replenish yourself with and just so you know what to expect. I wasn't expecting any of that. <laughs> It was rough. I started taking vitamins based on what the internet kind of suggested that I should. And sure enough, like within a month or two, I started feeling way more myself. So I'm glad that, that piece is over. Um, but the thing that did not end, that actually progressively got worse was my acne. Holy cow. Like I mentioned, I have had hormonal acne in the past, cystic acne, all that. This was completely different. I had no acne like in my T-zone. It was like all down here and I was also like getting a ton on my neck and under my chin and there were tiny little bumps and I was like, what the heck is going on here? Like I've never seen this on myself before. And if you guys have been around for a minute, you will know that I have done ads for different acne companies that do like customized skincare, like HERS, Proven, Curology. Still could not recommend those companies more because they are really, truly great. And I actually thought about going back on one of those programs because I liked it so much in the past. The reason I never like continued to stay on the programs after I ran out of my medication is because I am an influencer and I get lots of products sent in PR and I genuinely really love trying new products out. So I was just like, if I'm constantly getting new moisturizers and serums, like I'm just gonna try those things out. Griffin is barking, apologies. But the reason I didn't go back to one of those programs is because this looked so different to me than anything that I had ever seen before. And at this point, it's July of 2022 and it's worse than ever. I'm so frustrated, nothing is working. And I was just so frustrated at that point. I didn't wanna leave anything up to chance. I wanted to have a physical doctor in the same room as me, touching my skin, being up close and personal. I wanted to give them all the information about what had been going on in my life, stopping the pill and everything. So that is why I chose to go see a dermatologist. And I'm so glad I did. <laughs> Honestly, it's not the cheapest option. Like definitely using one of those companies 
I would have been better off like monetary wise because going to see a dermatologist, the office visits are not cheap. But I'm really glad I did because here we are now. So I wanted to talk to you guys about what finally cleared my skin. So I'm the kind of person, and I don't know if you guys are like this too, but I like to do my research beforehand. I like to talk to other people about their experiences too. So I believe it was on Instagram, I actually asked if anybody had dealt with acne coming off of the pill, what ended up working for them. And I kept seeing over and over and over again, spironolactone. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name. But I went into the dermatologist saying like, hey, so many people have recommended this to me, what do you think? And she took a look at my skin and she's like, this is not hormonal acne, which really, really surprised me. Um, just because me going off the pill, I thought for sure, this is why I'm breaking out, it's because it's hormonal and my hormones are out of control now. And she said the way that this is presenting itself, it's actually looking like it's a reaction to something. So it very well could be that your skin is freaking out because you went off the pill. It's not necessarily a hormonal thing. It's just your skin freaking out. So I was like, okay, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Like I was hoping that that spironolactone would just be like the problem solver and we'd be good to go. So I'll show you guys the first two things that she prescribed me. Again, these are prescription only products, so it's not something I can necessarily link for you, but I thought maybe it would actually be good like starting base that you could make suggestions for your, to your doctor. Again, I'm not a medical professional. I'm just giving you guys the information that I was given. The first thing that she prescribed me is this sodium sulfate. I'm gonna butcher the name. I'm literally just gonna put it for you guys. But basically this is like a sodium sulfate lotion. This is just like the generic brand that I ended up getting prescribed, but I believe the name brand is Claron. So this is a wash that I actually apply in the shower is usually when I do it. I sometimes I'll do it outside of the shower. Just the shower is the easiest thing. She told me, leave this on your skin for three minutes and then wash it off. The second product that she prescribed to me is actually a tretinoin and benzoyl peroxide cream. It's called Twineo. And this is a product that I use at nighttime before bed. The biggest issues that I saw with these two products as far as side effects is my skin got really, really dry. Now this was like summer into winter time, so that could be why and plus I do spend a bit of time in the sun. So I noticed the biggest thing is that my skin was just flaring up like crazy with dry spots. My skin was actually kind of peeling and whatnot. Um, so that was the only thing that like really kind of freaked me out with these two products, but otherwise no issues. I'll tell you guys a little bit about how I healed the drying skin later. Super, super easy. But I did that for the first two months and honestly, I wasn't seeing much of a difference besides my skin just like literally peeling like a lizard. Um, so bad that I like stopped using this for a minute. And when I saw the dermatologist again, I told her what was going on. My acne wasn't getting any better, but my skin was just super dry. And she said, the best thing you can do for acne is staying on a routine. So she said, please start using this again. If your skin is too dry for it, just don't leave it on as long, but at least still use this so you're in somewhat of a routine. So I will say I went back to it, did exactly what she suggested and didn't leave it on as long. And overall, I ended up fine. I'm good. I don't have blizzard skin anymore. <laughs> um, so at that two month mark, because my skin wasn't improving too much, even though I was using the products, like not exactly how I was supposed to, she decided at that point to put me on an antibiotic. And like I said, I've been on antibiotics in the past. I actually don't do well at all with antibiotics. They really upset my stomach. It's not fun. Um, but she prescribed me a specific antibiotic that was developed for acne and it's called Cicera. You guys, this product, I like want to shout it from the rooftops because wow, I was on it for three months, I believe. And I swear by like week two of being on the product, my skin was looking so much better. Again, I don't know if it was because these products just finally kind of really started working. That's the frustrating thing about acne is it does take some patience, but wow, 
my skin just every single day it started looking better and better and better and by the time i was fully done with the three months i was like so over the moon happy with my skin it basically looked the way it does now and like I could not be happier it's amazing the other thing that I loved about that antibiotic is it did not mess with my gut at all I had zero side effects besides like the dry skin kind of thing but that's a very easy fix with a little aquaphor and some sunscreen so those are the three products that I was prescribed that definitely changed my life as far as just dealing with acne it's such a frustrating thing so if you're struggling with it right now, these are some products that really worked for me. Acne is not like a easy, like one thing works for everybody, but I at least wanted to share those products with you guys and kind of explain where I'm coming from with all of that because I wish that I would have had a video like this when I was coming off the pill and super frustrated. So next I want to go into my skincare routine as it is now because there are some products that I introduced into my routine that really really helped address that dryness because the other thing that was so hard about the dry skin while I was first on those products is everything was so painful <laughs> to my skin because it was so dry and so inflamed and so red so I do want to share some products that I absolutely fell in love with. So, face wash. The only face wash that didn't burn like crazy. CeraVe, good old CeraVe. So this is the hydrating facial cleanser and I still use it. It is by far my favorite face wash I've ever used. There are so many out there that are so great, but this one is so gentle on my skin. And my skin feels so hydrated after I wash my face, but it still feels really, really clean. So basically what I do in the morning is I wash my face with CeraVe. I'll put on a sunscreen and that's when I kind of start my day. I do a workout and then after I shower, I actually like do my full on skincare routine for the day. So in the shower, usually I will use this first, this uh, sulfate sodium wash thing. And then I will wash my face with the CeraVe as well, just to make sure I get it all off. Out of the shower, I like to use a serum. And while I was going through this whole journey with the super dry skin, I noticed that using a serum with hyaluronic acid really helped calm my skin down. So I've been loving this one from Lancome. It is their Advanced Genifique. Serum. This one is amazing. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, a bunch of other really good things, and it doesn't like just make my skin absolutely freak out. I love it. Then I will go in with a moisturizer. This is the one that I've been using during the day. It is Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. Just gives you that beautiful, like dewy, just juicy skin, and it feels really good on my skin. I've had zero issues with it just being inflamed and red and all that nasty stuff, so I love this one. Then I will go in with a sunscreen. There are a few that I really enjoy, and on days like today where I want like a little bit more of a tan, I actually like to mix two different sunscreens together. So normally on the daily, I just use the Tula Skin Care Protect and Glow sunscreen. This gives you the most beautiful glow in the world. I absolutely love it. But then I also love mixing it with the Hydra Tint Pro Mineral Sunscreen from Elastin because this is tinted, so it gives you a little bit of color. I also mix in those Drunk Elephant Bronze, I don't remember what the name is, drops too because I just think it looks really nice. I can't live without like something on my lips, so I love using the KNC Beauty Lip Balm. So good. And then at night, I'll wash my face using my trusty old... CeraVe once again and then something that I also noticed while I was going through the whole dry skin thing is that my skin would like really really be super super sensitive to this product so I actually had my esthetician suggests that I put on a moisturizer before putting on this product and that helped immensely. I still do the same thing. This is one of my favorite moisturizers from Colleen Rothschild. It is her Extreme Recovery Cream. So good. Again, this is one that does not make my dry skin just absolutely <laughs> freak out. So I love that one. Then I will apply my Twineo, just a pea-sized amount for the whole face which is nice because it lasts a long time. And then I'll put on a little eye cream, my lash and my brow serums and 
definitely lather myself in aquaphor this is what i put on my lips every single day and when i was going through it with the dry skin this is the one thing that didn't make my skin so red and freak out it was the most gentle thing on my skin and i would just put like a ton around my mouth because that's mainly where i was having the dryness and in the morning i would wake up and my skin would actually be soft and not cracking off my face so if you guys do not have aquaphor in your house you absolutely need to because it's so good for just like minor cuts and scrapes as well as really dry skin so could not recommend that anymore but that's really it i just wanted to share my story with you guys and if you are out there and you are dealing with acne you are not alone it is such a frustrating thing i know it's just like something that maybe some people see as like a vein thing and maybe other people don't notice it as much on you but i know from personal experience when you have acne it is like the only thing you can think about you're just doing everything you can to cover it up and it's just so incredibly heartbreaking to deal with so if I could get to the place that I am right now, I'm so happy with my skin. You can too. It's just going to take time. Do not give up. You got this. I believe in you. And just to all of you guys who are thinking about going off the pill, just make sure you talk to your doctor. Do not be a dummy like me and just like expect the best because <laughs> that was not my situation at all. But we're here now. We lived and we learned. And maybe I went through my experience so that you don't have to go through it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you're going through. Let me know what products you're loving. And if you're dealing with acne too, I'm just sending you love. It's going to be okay. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.